Hey Geeks, Barry here with Geek Out Studio. Today I'm going to show you how I painted a D&D uh, Wood Elf Ranger miniature. Uh, it's from Dark Sword Miniatures. And so here will be the list of paints that you'll need. Now I'll be honest and say that I forgot to film how I painted the skin so we'll just pick up from painting the hair. And this I used the Reaper Triad colors for red hair starting with Auburn Shadow. Now to get a good base coat, I did have to go over it a couple of times with uh, a few thin layers of paint. After that, it's just a matter of dry brushing the rest of the colors of the triad uh, with the highlights going more towards the top of the head. And the first highlight is the carrot top red. And the final color will be Highlight Orange. From there I moved on to starting work on the base. And so I started with the rock. Because uh, again there will be a uh, dry brush uh, going on. So for the rock I started with Vallejo German Field Gray. And from there, I did a wash of Vallejo uh, European dust. And then that'll be followed by subs subsequential, uh, sorry, that'll just be followed by me doing various dry brushes using Vallejo green gray, natural gray. I throw in a brown wash and then a final uh, highlight of Vallejo light gray. Now for the actual earth, uh, I used Vallejo Game Color Earth, followed by a brown wash, and then again, just uh, dry brushing charred brown, and again, the final highlight of just hitting it with that Vallejo Game Color Earth again. Now for the actual leather, uh, so that I did with Vallejo Game Color Beastie Brown, followed with a brown wash, and then I did a kind of a combination of dry brush and layering of Vallejo Leather Brown. Now some of the other uh, parts, I'll do the same, uh, the same thing, but I will change up the leather look with I find, uh, using Vallejo model color brown or ochre and to kind of help tie all of the uh, the leather together uh, so with either the dry brush or the layering uh, just to kind of tie it all together I'll hit it all with a wash of just a brown wash and this can be a generic brown wash that you make or Agrax Earthshade from Citadel So, but the the brown ochre helps to give, uh, give just give it a different hue. So all the leather parts aren't just one uh, homogenous color. It shows like a difference in uh, leather tanning and just different different leather work going on.
Now for the cloak, I started with Citadel's Caliban Green and then I started working uh, with wet blending and layering it with uh, Citadel's Snot Green. Uh, and those are really the only two colors that I used for the cloak. Uh, so with, and, and just to kind of get a nice uh, brighter color. And see, this is it's just a lot of thin layers of uh, snot green and a combination of the caliber and green going on. So for the bow, I uh, bow and dagger and some of the other wood parts. I used uh, Vallejo model color buff. I then washed it with sepia, which you can see here, and then I highlighted it with Citadel's screaming skull. And just kind of uh, bring out some of the details. I hit it with a brown wash. The fletching is just a, uh, it's just gray that I highlight it with uh, white and then a very light gray wash went into it. And so for the gold uh, details and some of the silvers, I just used Tamiya's uh, titanium gold and gold leaf. Uh, that I then washed with rack art flesh just to kind of give it a nice rich hue to it and the last bit was to just paint the rim of the base uh, black and here is the finishing finished work I hope you enjoy it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Uh, and let me know if you want to see any other D&D uh, &D miniatures uh, done up. I really enjoyed doing this, uh, and I really hope to do more. So until next time, I'll see you all later.